Hi students, let us continue our lesson, grade 7, chapter uh, 7 also, what is chapter 7, uh, plate tectonics, there are three sections as you know, inside the earth, the theory of plate, deforming the earth crust, so let us start first section, what is first section, inside the earth, what is inside the earth, all right. What is earth side inside the earth? Section one. What is uh, inside the earth? Before that, let us make revision our pr previous lesson. We, we finish in chapter five. Uh, minerals. Remember minerals. What is minerals? Minerals are naturally formed inorganic solid that has a definite crystalline shape so this one uh, definition of mineral who can tell me four properties of mineral remember that four properties of mineral first one who can tell me solid is it this one first properties of mineral what about second properties of mineral uh, naturally Who can tell me third properties of mineral? Inorganic. As you remember, I explained to you what is inorganic, what is organic. What about four properties of mineral? Crystalline shape. Crystalline shape. Or crystalline structure. Alright, this on mineral. What about rock? Rock as a naturally occurring solid mixture of one or more minerals that organic material. That means in rock, organic and inorganic uh, material together. Can you tell me four kind of rocks? We can remember the first kind of rocks, students, igneous rocks. Don't forget, Ig igneous rock. Second type of rock, sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rocks. What about fourth type of rock? Metamorphic rock. Alright, there is three kind of rock. Igneous rocks. Igneous, sorry. Igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rock. So, students, let us ex start our lesson. Chapter 7, section 1. Section, section 1. What is section 1? Inside the earth. Alright, students. If, you're, if you have notebook and pen, we can start our lesson. Section 1. Alright. The earth has a lot of layers and each layer is made up of different material that have different properties. Scientists think about this layer of by their chemical composition and their physical properties. Today we are going to check the chemical composition and physical properties, students. Let us start chemical composition. The chemical composition of Earth. The earth is dividing in three layers, the crust, the mantle, the core, include compound that make up each layer. The less dense compound make up the crust and mantle and the densest compound make up, make up of core. Alright students, here the structure of earth according to chemical composition. The earth is made up three main layers of main layers crust mantle core as you see here students crust the surface of earth the surface of earth we call crust the middle layer of earth we call mantle the center of earth uh, we call core let me draw one more for you here let me draw it is earth for example students these are earth uh, 
It is made by three layer students. Three layer. These are first layer students. These are first layer, for example. The first layer we called crust. All right, students. The middle here, students. Can you see that layer? We called mantle. Mantle. The middle layer or center we called core. All right. There are three main layers according to chemical composition. Crust, mantle and core. All right. As you see here, the crust, the layer which one we are living on it, mantle and core. Let us start the first layer of earth uh, crust, students. There are two types of crusts, continental and oceanic. The, both continental crust and oceanic crust are made, made mainly of element oxygen, silicon and aluminum. Of course, the crust layer, the crust layer as you see here, the crust layer, uh, contain all elements. As you remember periodic table, more than 92 elements. It is naturally. And it is contained all of them, but mostly it is made, made up of oxygen, silicon, and uh, aluminium. For example, Earth's crust, 46% uh, made by uh, oxygen. What about silicon? It is 27%. What about aluminium? 8%. Don't forget that. And our uh, Earth's surface, mostly made by oxygen. Then silicon, then aluminium. <coughs> All right, students. The crust layer, and another point of crust layer, as I told you, it is made by two parts. What is it? Continental crust and oceanic crust. As you see, continental and oceanic. Continental, that means it is land, land part. Oceanic is water part. You know, two parts of uh, earth surface or um, crust. Uh, it is 80 km up to 5 km up to 80 km. The 5 km up to 80 km. The highest point 80 km. The thinnest part is 5 km. Uh, second layer of earth, mantle. The layer of earth between the crust and core is mantle. Mantle is the thicker than the crust and contain most of the earth mass. The mantle is more dense than crust because it is include more magnesium and less of aluminium or silicon than the crust does. Third layer, students, third layer, uh, core. The layer of earth that extends from below the mantle to the center of the earth is core. The core is, the earth's core is ma made mostly of iron and contains small, smaller amount of nickel. The core is 33% earth mass. Again, students, that is three layer of earth. What is that layer? That layer is crust. Remember again. What about that layer? Who can tell me? Mantle. What about here? We called. We called core. Okay. Three layer of earth: crust, mantle, and core. All right. Let us start from crust. Crust. The crust is less than 1% of Earth's mass and it is 5 to 80 km thick. That means the total mass of crust it is less than 1%. What about another one? Mantle. Mantle here as you see. The mantle is 67 of Earth's mass and it is 2900 km thick. As you see it is very large part of Earth. And it is uh, more than... 67 percent the middle layer students the middle layer yani the center is core the core is 
33% of Earth's mass and has radius 3433 km. What is radius? Radius, for example, it is circle. Uh, this one radius. All right. If whole, if it is like that, this one diameter. Don't forget. This one radius. All right. The radius going to be 3430 km. All right. We finish uh, chemical composition of Earth. Remember that there is three layer crust, mantle, and core. Crust mostly made by oxygen, uh, silicon, and aluminium. Mantle mostly made by magnesium, less uh, silicon and oxygen. Core made by iron and less nickel. What about physical structure of Earth? As you remember, I, as I told you, there are two. There are physical properties of Earth and chemical composition of Earth. The Earth is dividing into five physical layers. What are they? Lith uh, lithosphere, astonosphere, mesosphere, out core, inner core. There are five physical uh, structure of Earth or physical properties of Earth. Let us start. What is lithosphere? Students, lithosphere, where is my paper? Here, sorry. Lithosphere, students, lithosphere. The whole crust and upper part of what? Upper part of mantle. Yani that one. That layer, students. Yani whole crust and little bit mantle. We call what? Uh, we call uh, lithosphere. That means lithosphere meaning all crust plus upper upper part part of mantle mantle is equal lithosphere lithosphere okay don't forget that means what is it the crust and uh, a part of the upper mantle equal lithosphere all right check here can you see crust crust layer this one and upper mantle the both of them going to be what lithosphere or lithosphere lithosphere all right lithosphere is divided in, divided in two pieces called tectonic plate tectonic plate we are going to learn uh, section 2 don't forget we are going to learn later tectonic plate Astonosphere, another uh, layer of uh, physical properties of Earth. Astonosphere, astonosphere, the plastic layer of mantle on which the tectonic plate piece of lithosphere move. Uh, another um, layer of Earth, mesosphere, the strong lower part of the mantle between astonosphere and outer core. Again, check here, students. Can you see these are five layer of uh, physical structure lithosphere astonosphere outer core and inner core and mesosphere again lithosphere astonosphere mesosphere outer core and inner core all right students uh, what about outer core the earth students let us check here the outer core is the liquid layer of the earth's core that lies beneath the mantle and surround the inner core. That means this that part. Can you see this one inner part? This one inner sorry outer core, and it is liquid layer and surrounded inner core. What about inner inner core? The inner core is the solid, dense center of our planet that ex extends from the bottom of the outer core, that the center of the Earth. As you see here, this one what? Uh, inner core tectonic plate a piece of lithosphere that move around on top of the astonosphere are called tectonic plate tectonic plate include two type of crust oceanic crust and continental crust 
uh, this one type of tectonic plate. And we have one question, students. We have one question uh, from IGSO. An element X is the second most abound abundant in the Earth's crust by uh, mass. Crust uh, quartz is one of its oxide form. What is this element? Remember quartz, it is kind of mineral. Uh, the question one from us in uh, cross part. Do you remember cross part? There is uh, three type of three layer of uh, earth crust, crust, mantle, mantle, and core. All right, students. So in the crust, in the crust, students, in the crust. Which element found mostly? Remember, as I told you, firstly, uh, oxygen. How many per percent remember? 46 percent, is it? What about second um, abundant element? Silicon. Silicon, how many percent? How much percent? 27 percent. Third most abundant element aluminium how many percent eight percent what about third abundant element iron how many percent five percent but the question one from us uh, second most abundant second most abundant it is going to be silicon answer will be a thank you very much Please subscribe my uh, channel. Thank you very much.